Hi everyone, this is um this is show um and this is a very short video on on knowing how to identify the key that someone is singing in as to be able to 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 play the right key um and back up a singer on the on the stage. And this is for beginners or if you have been playing um but yet you're struggling to find the key um that somebody's singing on. Well, this is probably not the case for all songs what i'm going to teach here is not the case for all songs there are a few exceptions um to this formula but generally this would work for most of the songs that people are singing and and i mean that you have to play to this would work for it for those exceptions this video does not cover those um once i explain what this concept is then you will you will you will know what i mean by by some of the exceptions so if somebody is singing and you have to pick the key on the keyboard, what I would do is I would listen to the end of the song. First, if it's a song you know, then you have to go ahead of the singer and land at the end of the song. That end of the song, you have to hum it um, and find the key that sounds exactly like that on the keyboard. Say, for instance, somebody is singing, You've been faithful, Lord, from the ages past. That is why your name is forevermore. So the last, the last word on that song is more, is forevermore. I have to be humming that more and find the key that sounds exactly like that on the keyboard. Because I know the song, I've gone ahead of the singer, I've ended on that song, I've, I'll start looking for it. It's forevermore. Definitely, that's not it. It's forevermore. You see? That's G. It's forevermore. That's the key. Then you can start playing your, your, your chord from that. That's key G. It's forevermore. Let me take another key for the same song, for instance. So you see? You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages past, that is why your name is forever more, more, more. You see that it's not G again now. That's gone to it's forever more. That's F, 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 key of F. Me, me, you've been faithful, Lord, from the ages past. That is why your name is forevermore. That's on the key of F. More, more. Then let's take um one more one more song, and I'll do it in the in two keys as well. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God. We bow before your throne. That's on F. Because my voice is picking that naturally. That's why I sang last So That's on F. But then... Let's do it on C. And see how... What key that's going to be on. I mean, let's, let's try the key of C and imagine what the singer will be singing on. If they were singing on E. I mean on C. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne. So that's throne, throne, throne. That's the key they are ending on. So you pick that, you hum that, and you find it on the keyboard. Go above before your throne, throne. When we were singing, on, when we were doing on F, it would have been glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, above before your throne. You see the difference? So that's that, that would have been the person singing on the key of F. I bow, bow before your throne. That would have been the person singing on the key of F. You see the difference between them. And lastly, we just take the key of G. I mean, we just 
C. Imagine if the person was singing on the key of G. Um, that would have been that would be so you not you need to know your skills like do re mi fa so la do so so on G would have been glorious God beautiful King excellent God. I bow before your throne. See, that's on the key of G. I bow before your throne. So that's on the key of G. So that's how to pick. That's just a, sh I mean, a quick video on 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 how to pick the key that somebody is singing on. Now, like I said, that's if if you know the song, you usually go ahead of the person that is singing before they get to the end of it and be able to understand the key you usually go ahead of the person singing if you know the song um try to land on the end based on the key that the person started with land on the end of that song find it on the keyboard then pick your key and start playing along to the person um or playing along with the person but if you don't know the song then just you have to wait till the person gets to the end of the song then pick it from from there and play along with that person so those are then the um the exception that i said there are exceptions to this. There are some songs that don't, that don't, I mean, that you don't, uh, how do I put this now? They don't end. The place they end is not, it's not the key that the song is being, I mean, that the song is being sung on. So they don't naturally end in the key where that song is being sung in. So there are exceptions. This video is not about that. Maybe some other time, I, I, I mean, I'll delve into that. But the next video that I'll post on this channel is to teach people how to transpose. Um, if you don't know, like once you find the key, if the key is the key of G, you find the key, but you don't know the 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 the, the scale. You don't know the scale in the key of G. You don't know the scale in the key of A. You don't know the scale in the key of um, D. But then one of the songs has has landed on on one of those keys, but you don't know the scale, and you need to use your transpose function on the keyboard. The next video that I'll do is to is to teach that. Though that's usually not encouraged for people who are learning to play the keyboard because it's like um it's like a cheating. I mean it's like cheating. But then if you find yourself in that situation, um where you are still a beginner and you have to kind of navigate your way through playing the keyboard and you have to transpose, then that video would help you to know how to do that. Though, like I said, it's not recommended. It is usually advised that if you're learning to play the keyboard, learn to play all of the keys, learn the triads on all of the keys. And learn to play to all of the keys but if you're still at the stage where you don't know those things yet and you have to kind of play in church somehow and you need to understand transposing my next video will be on that god bless you